Now, Victoria's Secret, the brand, is going back to its roots and dropping its feminist and woke makeover after, shock horror, a fall in sales. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. I have exciting news for you. We have won. And we are now bringing sexy back. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Victoria's Secret is ditching woke ogres in their advertising Instead of using orcs to advertise their lingerie, hideously ugly, ugly people, uh, unhealthy and ugly inside and out, uh, they are now going to go back to using smoke shows to sell lingerie because actually there is something we should aspire to as human beings. And there is something called beauty in our existence. And we should actually desire that and celebrate it. And we shouldn't celebrate ugliness. And that's, that's why this is a very good thing. I would normally not do like a, a, a jump into lingerie. This is an example of a Victoria's Secret model uh, over the last two years. Okay, that's okay. I think, I think I'm right there. I think I'm right. Victoria's Secret Dictions prioritizing woke over sexiness after sales drop. Okay. Lingerie changed Victoria's Secret recently, ditching its woke feminist takeover recently as it has not translated into business success. Oh, really? Whoa. Since the brand decided to move away from its hypersexualized image as a brand of fashion, described it in a recent article, Victoria's Secret seen significant revenue drop. As such, it's looked at a revamp, bringing back sexiness. Uh, the outlet noted in a piece that was also published in the editorial partner CNN on Tuesday. So this is what your uh, typical Victoria's Secret model has looked like. Just your classic Palestinian uh, protester, insurrectionist at the U.S. Capitol there. Uh, this is what they've looked like over the past couple of years. According to the numbers, the lingerie brand's projected revenue for 2023 is $6.2 billion, which is 5% lower than it was last year, even lower than 2020, when the brand did its famous little kick-up to... Wokeness, meaning, you know, you can, you, can be, you can be a slob. You can be one of the most hated people on earth. In 2021, uh, Megan Rapino, the most despised and uh, reviled uh, human being in the entire sports ecosystem, was brought on as a Victoria's Secret spokesperson. Does anybody want to see Megan Rapino in lingerie? I, I can speak for myself here. No! I don't. So Megan Rapinoe was brought on, of course, as the spokesperson for uh, Victoria's Secret. How'd that go? One, Megan Rapinoe here. This is my edit. I love dressing up and picking out different outfits. Sometimes it's a hurricane. You're Sometimes it's very plain. Sometimes it's kind of wild. Yeah, I just sort of wear what I like. I try to draw style inspiration from anywhere. So really. you're a slob. You it's just look fun like a for me, teenage. so I kind of take it as like a fun activity, like a, teenage boy. a hobby. Yeah, I think when you're comfortable in what you're wearing, in your own skin, in who you are, then sexy can be coming through you. Again, the fact that I feel comfortable in it. Pieces are sort of interchangeable. I can wear oh, them God. dressed up, oh, dressed down. But oh, ultimately, even if you're just wearing them on their own, they're comfortable. It's something you can move in. You feel like free in it. People should never wear something they don't like or they don't feel comfortable in. God. Oh, that's what Victoria did. So this didn't sell? This Women across America raising families, like, uh, like happily married women with some d expendable income that want to look sexy. Like these, these women didn't, they, they weren't convinced by this. They weren't convinced by this reptilian, teenager-like, uh, teen, teen prepubescent uh, boy model of yours. Yeah, Megan Rapinoe didn't do it. It's not been enough to carry the day. Why Victoria's Secret rebrand is over, writes CNN. The radical transformation of Victoria's Secret is over. American Lingerie print, uh, spent, uh, spent the last two years overhauling its hypersexualized image in a bid to regain cultural relevance and win back young consumers who preferred more on-trend upstarts. There were some successes, including the launch of the Megan Rapino. <laughs> so this is what they want you to look like. So they want you to be. They, so they want you to be unhealthy. So be unhealthy or look like a toxic teenage boy. That's what, you know what? Like brands don't want that. Women don't want that. You know, you're gonna be fighting, you're fighting biology here, okay? You're fighting thousands and thousands of years of human programming. That's why this moment is collapsing very quickly. How Victoria's Secret brands bring sexy back. Like 
This is empirically beautiful. This is empirically beautiful. This person is clearly in shape. And is the kind of per like this is the kind of person that is sort of an iconoclast of you know beautiful and in shape. When you see sculptures from Roman or, or Greek Grecian times, they're not morbidly obese and they're not hideous in the face. They they kind of by and large sort of look like this. Little tweaks here and there. So this is what you're fighting. Victoria's Secret drops feminist makeover after sales slump. <laughs> That's what it's all about. And now look at Victoria's Secret stock. Here it is today. Oh my. Should have been smart. Buy Victoria's Secret. Look at it going up since this news. <laughs> look at it, guys. Get up, 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 up since the news. Uh-oh. How about the last five years? Uh-oh. Last five years, Victoria's Secret stock. Not been good. Not been good. I mean, ticking upward now. But... Bam. Not great. Boy, back in the Trump days, though, had a big spike here. What, what was this about? I don't know. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has uh, been a horrible downward spiral, of course, representing the uh, like representing the obvious repul like revulsion of Victoria's Secret taking their brand, which is a beauty brand, and, in comp and, 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 and embracing something that is empirically not beautiful okay like there are standards of beauty there are beauty standards there is something that is called universally beautiful and this ain't it baby woke fail victoria's secret announced that it is ditching its wokeness over sexiness massive sales plunge victoria's secret hired megan rapino uh that slammed the brand's harmful message and patriotic and sexy isn't that amazing so Megan Rapino said that Victoria's Secret had a harmful message and was patriarchal and sexist in order to get hired, in order to get a big paycheck, right? You see how the you see how the scam works here? So this is the this is the ad that she creates. So she strips down to her underwear. So like to prevent women like that look like this stripping down in their underwear. So Megan Rapino is saying, stop giving these beautiful women paychecks, give me paychecks. And then this happened. See how the scam works? Does this remind you of anything? Hey, impressive carrying skills, right? I got some Bud Lights for us. Mm -hmm. So yes. I kept hearing about yes, this thing does. called March Madness. And I thought we were all just having a hectic month, but it mm. turns out it has something to do with sports. And I'm not yeah. sure exactly. What got it. So this is to Victoria's Secret exactly what this is to beer drinkers all right that's your object lesson for the day what is the final object lesson here the final object lesson is don't betray your customers understand your business know your business middle-aged white dudes conservative christian white dudes sports fans beer drinkers aren't going to want dylan mulvaney selling them beer and women who wish to look beautiful are going to want models that represent or reflect some standard of beauty that they wish to be. Final metaphor here. Uh, in the sports world, like you put the champions on the field. You put the people who are the biggest, the strongest. In the me in men's world, you put the biggest, the strongest, the champions on the field, okay? To play the game, to win the ball game, the sports ball, right? Not, not a huge sports fan, but I understand this concept. In Hollywood, you would put the big, the, the the biggest movie star, Tom Cruise. You put him in your Brad Pitt. You put him in your movie. You put those guys in your movie because they are the best actors. Why why does everything need to be so Im demonstrably, empirically ugly? Wokeness is ugliness. Communism is ugliness. It is the spiral towards the bottom, not the ascension to what is above. And this is why brutalism is the architectural style of the communist the big cement block buildings, it's meant to oppress you and to show you that there's nothing, there's nothing about, there's nothing beautiful about communist architecture. The spiraling cathedrals that lift our eyes to the heaven, that show us that there's something more, something to ascend to, the communists mustn't have that. We are stuck on this, on this sunken earth and this is all that exists. Ugliness and brutality is all that exists. No, it's a horrible way to live life.
And it's great to see us break in the fever. One Bud Light can and one Victoria Secret bra strap at a time. It's your boy Benny. Like, share, and subscribe. For beauty. For more the beauty that we provide. See ya.